my name is Allison. I'm the Programs, Outreach, and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Thank you for joining me today for another Self-Care Sunday. Today, we are going to make our own Worry Dolls. Before we get started, I wanted to give a little bit of a history of Worry Dolls. Worry Dolls originated in Guatemala, and the thought process behind Worry Dolls is that you would tell your worries or your anxieties or your fears or your sorrows to your doll before bedtime and then place the doll underneath your pillows so that while you slept, the doll took on your worries and you were able to have a good night's sleep and wake up in the morning feeling refreshed. Worry dolls you've seen are probably a lot smaller than the one that we're going to be making today. I have some worry dolls at my mom's house that are about this big. They're very small, so very easy to go under your pillow. For this project, you are going to need a few things. One, you are going to need a clothespin or a craft pin. If you have a pin that's smaller than a clothespin, that works too, whatever you want to use. You're going to need some embroidery floss or embroidery thread. You could probably use yarn for this project, but it would make the whole thing a little bit bulkier and probably be a little harder to wrap. But if you have yarn and that's all you have, feel free to go ahead and give that a try. You're gonna need some scissors and you're going to need a Sharpie. So gather up your materials and let's get started making our worry dolls. To get started, you are going to pick the three different colors of embroidery thread that you would like for your doll. I'm gonna pick that for the top. Do some yellow shirt. And then let's do some purple pants. Once you have your thread colors picked out, you can either pre-cut if you like, or I'm going to wrap and then cut at the end. So to start with, you are going to take your thread and clip it into your clip like so. And then you are just going to start wrapping around. You want to wrap the first color to maybe, you know, a quarter of the way down, and then you're going to use the second quarter for the second color, and then you're going to make your little pants on either leg of the clip. So we're going to go ahead and get started wrapping. I'm going to do a time lapse so that you can see it quickly, and we'll see how it looks at the end. Once you have your doll all wrapped, it is up to you if you want to put a face on your doll. I'm going to, so you can just take a black Sharpie and do some little dots for eyes and a little mouth. Ta-da! When you're wrapping your embroidery floss, one thing that you can do if you have a hot glue gun is you can use a dab of hot glue to secure each layer of embroidery floss. Or what I did was I just utilized the different holes in the clothespin to tie off my embroidery floss because I don't have a hot glue gun at home and I thought that using white Elmer's glue might be a little bit messy. So what I did for the top was I just clipped in the thread that I was using on the top. And then when I got down to the point where I was going to change colors, I slipped it through here or through this hole here, or another thing that you can do that I did later on with the pants is if you take your floss and you have where you're going to tie it off, what you could do is you can cut off an extra finger length and then put your finger there to create a little loop so that you can tie off a knot to secure the thread and then just cut off the excess. When I got down to the next layer, I used this little hole here and then again used the little knot technique and I used the knotting technique at the bottom for the pants. So that's how you're gonna secure the embroidery floss or thread to your clothespin. And there you have it, your very own worry doll. 
I found that just doing this project was pretty relaxing. The whole process of wrapping the thread was very therapeutic for me and very calming. It helped me to focus on something. And I would even suggest that while you're building your worry doll, if you have something in particular that's causing you stress, anxiety, or sadness, to think about it while you're wrapping your doll up so that your doll instantly starts taking on your worries. Or conversely, you could think a lot of happy thoughts while you're wrapping your doll to give it a lot of good energy to help take on those worries that you're going to be imparting to it in the days to come. I hope that you don't have to use your worry doll too often, but I'm glad to know that you have one if you do. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you'll check out our other Self Care Sunday videos on our Self Care Sunday playlist, and I hope you have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.